Hey, bad jokes back at you once again with another video and today guys we've got episode number three of the West Ham United Master League series here on PES 2020 with the Argentinian madman Diego Maradona in charge of the club and today's game is another big one following on from the last episode we have got Manchester United coming up today. Going to be a big game, a tough game. And also a game that West Ham have got IRL on Sunday. So maybe it could be a little bit of a prediction. You never know. Let's have a look at how we've been getting on since you was last with me for the Tottenham game. As you can see, we drew that one 1-0. One we got the equaliser very, very late on in that game. And then following on from that, we had the international break and we returned with a very nice and very pleasing 2-0 win against Leicester City. That was a very good performance. We pretty much dominated it and we never really looked like missing out. And then following on from that, we only had, what, a three, four day break? And the players were obviously tired because we had a very laboured, a very poor game against Newcastle neither side really looked like scoring and then again we only had what a three four day break once again but it was against Bournemouth and we was able to get the winner Callum Wilson scoring against his old club so that was very very nice to see and then that leads us to where we are today Manchester United away it's gonna be difficult but you know what? United are beatable. Because as you can see on the league table to my right hand side, we are currently 8th in the league with 8 points. And United are 6th with only 9 points. So if we win, we will go above them in the table today. There's also not been any real uh, transfer news. You did see how we went past transfer deadline day. Nobody else came into the club. Nobody else left. We haven't really got the money to be bringing anybody else in. And so this is going to be the team for the game today. Fabianski in goal, Masuaku, Balbuena, Diop and Fredericks as the back four. Declan Rice as the anchor man. Lanzini alongside Noble. And then Anderson and Yarmelenko are going to be just behind the main man for today. Sebastian Haller. So let's crack on with the game. Actually, let's have a look at the Man U team. Who have they got? David De Gea in goal. Fred in the midfield. Pogba as the attacking midfielder just behind Rashford. And Lingard on the right wing. Other than that, not a massive deal to be getting too scared about. I think I am feeling weirdly confident for West Ham in, in the game in real life on Sunday. I think we might actually beat United. Which, if we do, would make me very, very happy. So, let's have a look. Those kits might just clash a little bit. So, yeah, let's put us in the white. And let's just make sure one more time that nobody is too knackered. No, not everybody's fit. Everybody's ready to go. But, actually, I'm going to drop Winston Reid and bring on Jack Wilson. Why that didn't save from the last few games, I'm not sure. But yep, there we go. That's the team for today's game. And that's one Bissaka with the ball on the right-hand side. We play it away, but again, only as far as a man new man. Long shot, and well, Fabianski's not going to any easier than that, is he, today? No, we just cannot pass this ball. Oh, oh, that's a free kick. Please tell me that's a free kick. Please tell me that's a free kick. Balbuena, they're just about getting away with it, I think. What's been given? It is a free kick. This is a dangerous situation here. And oh, great block there. But United do have the lead. And it's Daniel James, the youngster from Swansea. Getting, a, getting his first goal for United. We have been playing absolutely awful. Maradona is not happy. I can see some changes being made already. 
as what an awful defensive performance that was. We've clearly not been working on, on defending in training. Rice, Masuaku, Felipe Anderson. Declan Rice it all, almost gives the ball away. Noble. Fredericks. Yarmolenko. Nope, gives the ball away. Noble. Declan Rice. Masuaku turns, goes to Anderson. And Anderson, he's got a man to give the ball to here. Masuaku with the cross. And we get our first corner of the day. Yarmolenko to whip this ball in. And goes to Anderson's head. But far too easy for David De Gea. And now Noble just stands on the ball. And United get it away easily. Oh, a nice little back heel there. And now it's Fred with it. Into Lingard. And it's 2-0. Ah. Oh. This is not going well, folks. Rashford with the goal. And stupid Daniel James with the dab. Honestly, who dabs? I know I'm 29 years old and I've never dabbed in my life. But who, who does that? And now 2-0 down. Anderson to Diop. To Noble. Arnold again. We've not had a single shot, I don't think, today. And that really does need to improve. Diop with the header. Goes to Lanzini. And that's another pass he's given away. You know what? Maradona ain't happy. Lanzini is coming off immediately for Pablo Fornals. That might be happening before half time if the ball goes out. And Diop now with the ball just giving it away, but Anderson has it. And nope. This is a very lethargic performance from us. This could be 3-0 any minute. Nope, we've given away another free kick though. Oh no, it's for us. Okay, I didn't see. Okay, because Rashford was offside. That makes sense. And Luke Shaw's apparently got a bit of a knock. And there we go, four nows coming on. For Lanzini, who has had a very, very poor game. His compatriot, Maradona, is going to be having a very strong word with him at half-time. As now United 2-0 up as the half-time whistle goes. And it's been very, very easy for United. We need a different game plan. Why... That might explain why we've not been playing how I expected. Why has the game gone back to that? Gone back to the normal 4-3-2-1. I don't want that. I want this one. That explains why we've not been playing that well. Well, okay. So let's go have a look. Who's, who's a bit tired? Anybody? Everybody's just about okay. But I don't think it's going to be that long before we bring on Mikel Antonio. And now it's us to start the second half. And now, oh, this is better. Sebastian Haller with the shot at the start of the second half. And that goes just, just wide. But that already is better. 90 seconds into the second half. We are playing how I wanted us to. United get the ball out wide. It's one Bissaka to have a run at four nows. But four nows just about is unable to keep the ball in play. So it's going to be one Bissaka again with the throw in. Pogba with the ball. Crosses it in. Rashford just about unable to get there. And now it's... Oh, there he does. Rashford with his second of the day. And again, it's just absolutely atrocious defending. Just could not get the ball away. And it just made far, far too easy for the hosts. Masuaku. 
Smash off you. Can he get it back inside? He does. Anderson. Hello with the shot. And De Gea with the decent save. And we're still making chances. You never know. If we get one back in the next five or ten minutes, we could have half a decent chance of getting back into this. And now Yarmolenko with another corner. That gets headed away. But it goes to four now. Who has the shot and it's blocked rather easily. And now Fredericks to Rice. To Masuaku, who gives the ball away far too easily there. And now Masuaku again, just trying to do something, but there's nobody on the same wavelength. And Yarmolenko to Fredericks. Here we go. Fredericks with the cross. Oh, I thought we was back in it then. And that's Antonio with his first action of the game to play the corner in. And four now with a long shot. And that is blocked. It is really frustrating that it's taken us to get to 3-0 down to get back into this game. And now Fabianski plays the ball away from Rashford. But Pogba now with it. And yet we are putting United under all sorts of pressure. Why did we have to wait to go so far down to start doing this? Balbuena with a long shot. And I think we've got a free kick. Yes, we have. Let's have a look. What was that for? Antonio running at them. And yeah, Pogba just tripping Antonio up there. And now let's see. Who's our best free kick taker? Jesus Christ. Absolutely nobody. Can four nails hit this with this foot? Yes, he can. So let's go for four nails. And now with the free kick, doesn't even get it over the wall. Oh, oh no. Oh, Diop's got himself caught in two minds there, whether to try and clear the ball or not. And that's four. No, it's not. Rashford were missing an absolute guilt-edged guilt opportunity to get himself his hat-trick. Four now deep in our deep in our attacking territory. It's getting the ball for us. And now Antonio. Antonio, he needs some help here. Can someone give him a hand? Oh, maybe not. He's crossed it in. Anderson hit to hit the ball. How has he not hit the ball there? Oh. Let's get Wilson on for Halla. Just one chance and you never know. Now Halla. Halla on the counter. Come on, keep hold of the ball, son. He is unable to. And Rashford, the man looking for his hat trick, plays it through. And Daniel James, the young Welshman, with the shot. But Fabianski finally getting his hands to something today. It's going to be Pogba with this corner. It's going to be an outswinger. Crosses it in and just wide there from Rashford again. And now De Gea clearing the ball. And oh, Balbuena with it. Goes through to Rice, who has a long shot. It's blocked and it goes out for a corner with just 24 seconds of normal time remaining. Antonio with the corner. And we've got one back. We've got one back. It's Ryan Fredericks with it. Uh, well, we've at least got a consolation and a little bit of something to celebrate. And that is how the game ends. Manchester United with the win. Three goals to one. Our second half performance was a lot better than the first half performance. In the first half, we just wasn't at the races. And Man United probably deserved to win it. I don't know, actually. Looking at those match stats, we had just about more of the possession. And United had less shots than us. So, maybe a draw might have been a better result if we could have defended better in the first half. And so, let's have a look at some of the other scores. Bournemouth beating Palace 4-0. Tottenham beating Newcastle 3 goals to 1. Liverpool and Leicester drawing 2 all. Everton getting a 3-1 win against Burnley. Villa beating Norwich. Arsenal beating Watford 3-1. Sheffield United getting an upset win against Chelsea. And Man City only just narrowly beating Southampton. 
and then Wolverhampton Wanderers beating Brighton three goals to nil. So after six games, we are tenth in the table with eight points, with one two drawn two lost two. So it's all been very even in the early days of this season. And so that is where we are going to leave it for today, guys. If you've enjoyed that video, please, please give me a pity like at least for that video down below. And subscribe to the channel for more Pro Evo content. Not only this series, there is also the Real Madrid Classic League series whenever Pez Universe release all their classic teams. So, yeah, very much looking forward to that as well. And there's the more to win West Ham United series on FM19 using the 1966-67 database. So if you're interested in that, go and check out the episodes in that series as well. That will be back at some point in the next couple of days. And yep, guys, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And also follow the FM Creators Twitter page and the FM Creators Discord. And also the Passion for FM website go and give that a look and follow their twitter page there's some big news coming about that particular team in the next few weeks possibly so yeah keep an eye out for that and i am bad jokes gaming hope you've enjoyed this video i'll see you next time bye